From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. I have so many questions that keep my brain busy all the time. I look for answers to those questions. I really wanted to discuss them with you. And if you have something to add to my answers, you can comment below. Why do we yawn? Yawn. Yes, you own it. Have you ever thought about it? So here's why we yawn. When we are bored or tired or feel sleepy, we just don't breathe as deeply as we usually do. The theory is. Our bodies take in less oxygen because our breathing has slowed. Therefore, yawning helps us bring more oxygen into the blood and move more carbon dioxide out of the blood. The whole nature automatically takes care of you all the time, whether you notice or not. Why do we cry? Yeah, I know we cry when we are sad and when someone dies, or when we watch a movie that's really tragic, or even when we are overwhelmed with happiness. So these tears are produced in response to that strong emotion we do experience from stress, pleasure, anger, sadness, and suffering. Also, to physical pain. Psychic tears even contain a natural painkiller called leucine encephaline. Perhaps part of the reason why we might feel better after a good cry, the sad hormones are flushed out through the tears out of the body. Why do we sneeze? I tell you why. The long-standing answer has been that sneezing is a reflex. When irritants such as germs, dust, pollen, animal dander, or pollutants infiltrate the nose lining, the brain sends out a signal to get rid of it. That triggers a deep breath, which gets held in the lungs. As a result, the chest muscles tighten and pressure builds. The tongue pushes against the roof of the mouth, forcing breath to come out fast through the nose. Why do we dream? Now this is interesting. The human brain is a mysterious little ball of gray matter. After all these years. Researchers are still puzzled by many aspects of how and why it operates like it does. Studies have been going on sleep and dream for decades now, and we still aren't 100% sure about the function of sleep or exactly how and why we dream. We do know that our dream cycle is typically most abundant and best remembered during the REM or rapid eye movement stage of sleep. It's also pretty commonly accepted among the scientific community that we all dream. The question of whether dreams actually have a physiological, biological, or psychological function has yet to be answered. There are several theories as to why we dream. One is that dreams work hand in hand with sleep to help the brain sort through everything it collects during the waking hours. Your brain is met with hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of inputs each day. Some are minor sensory details, like the color of a passing car, while others are far more complex, like the big presentation you're putting together for your job. During sleep, the brain works to plow through all of this information to decide what to hang on to and what to forget. Some researchers feel like dreams play a role in this process. Thanks for watching. This is your host Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.